Good afternoon, people, and welcome back to my channel. It's China Doll here. So it's a beautiful Sunday fun day at my here at Disney Springs. Um, I had put my name down for a virtual queue for Gideon's because I haven't had their cookies in a while. I know every month they have a cookie of the month, and I love their cold brew too. I know they have a location in Winter Park, but since I'm already in Disney Springs, why not? I can do all their stuff and come back whenever they text me since it's a virtual queue line wait. Um, so I'm gonna hop into the World of Disney Store and see what merch they have in there. I want to see what's new because, like I said, it's been a, been a couple months since I've last been here. So I want to show you guys updates, see what's new, and have you guys hang out with me here at Disney Springs. I decided to walk into the World of Disney Store and I see these 50th anniversary Coca-Cola mall. They're all in different colors, with blue and yellow and red. They're five five dollars each, and those are the regular Cokes down there in case you're wondering. So just out of the World Disney Store, I didn't really film much because I didn't see much new. Um, so I'm gonna go head over to the boat transportation because you can take the boats from Disney Springs to the resorts and stuff. And it's a, it's a cool like little ride instead of just taking buses or driving over. So, and it's something that I haven't done in a while. So we're gonna head over there right now. All right, now we're gonna take this little trail. We're gonna leave Disney Springs and head onto the boat transportation. I'm not sure where we're gonna head to because you know, I don't really have any plans to go with the flow kind of day, but it's beautiful, gorgeous day out. So we're gonna head to the uh, Port Orleans Resort. You can also head over to Saratoga Springs or Old Key West from Disney Springs. And look at this, there's like nobody in line, so it feels like I'm the only one here right now. Well, actually there's a couple people way ahead. I just noticed it now. But yeah, I'm excited because look at this, I'm going to be out on the water. I love being by the water, the ocean, the pool, whatever. I don't know. I just love being, doing basically everything outdoors. And then all the way in a far distance, you can see the um, Amphicar going by. Remember guys, when I did that last year for my birthday with my cousin, it was cool. But I don't recommend doing it early in the day because it's really hot. Just go either later on in the evening when the sun goes down or probably do it early in the morning so it won't be so hot. We're now about to go board into the boat. So this is exciting. <laughs> like I said, I like to do a lot of things outdoors so we're gonna head over right now. Hi. Hi okay, we're now leaving dock. We're gonna make a quick stop to one of the other resorts and then we're gonna be, I think, we're at the second stop, I'm not sure, but there we go. Saratoga Springs, which is one of the uh, Disney resorts, which I've stayed at once before too. So we docked at Riverside, but I'm not gonna get off the resort because I mean get off the boat, sorry, because um, I just wanted a quick scenery route from Disney Springs to the resorts, but I'm not actually going to hang out at the resorts. So I just wanted just for a quick transportation around on the boat. But this is a little view of like what's around here. I guess there's like a bunch of restaurants. I'm not sure. But right now there is nobody in the boat because like all the guests that were on here with us, they got off and we're gonna head right back to Disney Springs. There's gonna be swamp on that side where the tree houses are. And there's gonna be trees and then a golf course on this side over here. And yes, there is a fairway somewhere on the other side of these trees over on this side. And then Walt Disney passed away, and while they were going through his office and his desk, they found some of his hand drawings with the title Treehouse Resort. So in honor of Walt Disney, they built 62 treehouses here. In order to make that not a swamp and heart pack, they dug a little deeper to make this channel here. So whereas most of the rest of the waterway is four to 10 feet deep, in this area, they dredged it 26 feet deep, and they threw all the dirt over there and let it harden, and then they built tree houses. They also followed Walt's design. Walt's design was, if we build an eight-sided house, on the off chance that hurricane winds are still blowing with hurricane force here in the middle of the state, the winds will flow around those eight-sided, because there won't be any sharp corners for the winds to catch on. 18 years ago, Hurricane Charlie comes through here, and it is still a hurricane force winds in the middle of the state. And Walt is proved correct long after his passing. The winds do just flow right around the treehouse. So we are now heading back to Disney Springs, and right, this is a so really nice view. Chance that I have anybody on the boat who has never 
never been to Disney Springs before. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> and if that'll satisfy you, I can turn around and get right on back to Port Orleans right now. That's all you want to do is see Disney Springs. <laughs> is there anybody that actually wants to get out and walk around Disney Springs? Ride around? So there's a like a little quick service place right next across from the Lego store. It's called BB Wolf. So I'm gonna go over there, probably get a hot dog or a bratwurst or something. And then depending if Gideon's text me or not, um, if I have time, I'm gonna do the check out the new ice cream spot called Salt and Straw. But if Gideon's text me first, and I'll go there. So it depends. We'll see what happens after I have lunch. So look at BB's Wolf um, menu. So they have different types of dogs. Normally I would get the bratwurst or the Italian sausage, but today I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna get the three little pigs. So it comes with pastrami Reuben dog, Hawaiian Island dog, and a Texas chili dog for $14.49. And this is a look at their beverages that they have here too on the bottom. So I got the three little dogs. Like I said, the three different types of dogs. Everything looks pretty delish. There's something different than what I normally get, but it, it just sounded really good and I'm really hungry. So let's see how each dog goes. I guess I'll start with the Hawaiian one first. And this is what it looks like. Um, it really matches so you guys better grab a bunch of different napkins. texting me saying it's ready to come into Gideon's and this is their menu every month they have a limited edition cookie so this month of April is the toasted coconut caramel chocolate chip and um they have other they all have other cookies too so they have like chocolate chip pistachio toffee cookies and cream peanut butter and triple chocolate and then also their nitro cold brew is pretty good so I normally get that here too so I'm really excited to go back it's been a while since I've had Gideon's cookies Finally going in. Uh, so it's basically same. Look, well, they have the pins over here, and there's candles, and then there's a hot. Oh yeah, it does have a haunted mansion vibes. <laughs> all right, so I'm getting close after I see all these things on the wall. I don't know why I feel like these these books should start moving. So you can feel like you're in the Haunted Mansion, right? But we're gonna get closer to the cookie set and show you what they have. So this is the cookie of the month. This is the roasted coconut caramel chocolate chip. This is the triple chocolate chip, the original chocolate chip, the peanut butter crunch, and then the pistachio is the last one on the list. And then these are all the cakes that they have right here. They're huge slices. So I got the cookie, cookie of the month. So this is the coconut, um, pieces here the chocolate chip and then for the cold brew I had got the pumpkin chai because last time I got the peanut butter cold brew so I'm gonna try something different because they have three different flavors so let's see how this is Ooh. it's pretty good it has a little kick to it after I swallow it two times but now I'm very excited to try this cookie guys like I said every month they have a special edition cookie so let's bite into this bad boy and let, let me see how this is. Mm. Not that bad. It's super sweet though. But good. <laughs> so Disney Spring has this new ice cream place. It's called the Salt and Straw. It just opened up a couple of days ago. So I'm gonna go inside and check it out and see what ice cream flavors they got. 
you guys are wondering, it's right next to Splitsville. So I had scanned the QR code for salt and straw and this is the flavors they have. They have chocolate gooey brownie pie, salted malted chocolate chip cookie dough, honey lavender pint, sea salt with caramel ribbons pint. So this is freckled mint chocolate chip. I can't even pronounce this. Arabic queen olive oil, cinnamon snickerdoodle, strawberry honey, bottomless limes, ice cream of moo, and rosy the pink flamingo. Get a sample of the cinnamon snickerdoodle. I want to see how this is. So you can sample through my actual bag. Oh, that is so good. It tastes just like the cookie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. So this one is the car sea salt with caramel ribbons. Oh man, that is really really good. Mm. When you're done, you just basically throw the spoons right here. Pretty cool. So they even sell, look at these little cups. They have these little cups right here to sell straw and then a little baggie. And then I think these are like, oh, these are like similar in sets. But that's pretty cool. You can buy some of the merch that they have here. Right, this is all, this is what it's a very little small limited spot. And then over here in this corner, if you want, you can buy like things of ice cream. So so just leaving salt and straw was a really nice ice cream spot. It's very small in there. So there was like a little line outside, but it moved along really quickly. I'm glad you are allowed to get as many samples as you want before you actually you get ice cream in a cone, you can get ice cream in a cup. But I was still full from Gideon's cookies and the cold brew. So I was like, I didn't want a full like cup or a cone of ice cream. I just wanted to try it because it's brand new. Like I said, it's opened a couple days ago. But um, yeah, it was so delicious. Today has been a, like a wonderful Disney Springs day slash like a little boat ride to the resorts and come back. So, so far so good. Okay guys, this is gonna end my day here at Disney Springs. It has been an amazing day because like started off um, first putting my name and number for the virtual Gideons. They said it was, they quoted about a two hour wait, but they texted me earlier, like in about an hour and a half. So. I rode the boat from Dizzy Springs to Newport Orleans, the, um, the resort, but I didn't get off there. Just went for a little scenic route there and back. And then got lunch at BB's Wolf, which that three little hot dogs was so delicious. I've never had hot dogs that way. I'm used to the, either the big bratwurst or the regular hot dog, but it was, it was delicious. I definitely recommend that if you guys like to eat hot dogs and then um, walked into World Disney, but didn't get anything, just did a little window shopping there. Um, and then after that, went to Gideon's, because of course they texted me while I was eating lunch, and got the cookie of the month, which was pretty good. If you like coconut, I'll definitely recommend getting it, because you're gonna enjoy that. And then the pumpkin chai cold brew was really good too. Like that was the first time having that, because usually I would get the peanut butter cold brew. But I wanted to try something new. Today was like a day of new everything for me. It's crazy. And um, then went to that new ice cream place. No, we can't walk that one. And add salt and straw. And I was, like I said, I, like I explained to you guys earlier, you can get as many samples as you like. So it was cool to try three different flavors. I know I didn't show the last one at the end, but was, I was like, wow, this is pretty cool. I think they had 17 flavors. Okay, so like I was saying, um, the last ice cream flavor I had was the lavender. I know I didn't film it because I was just trying, because like I said, it was really crowded and I just wanted to try the samples and get out real quick. But I felt like that was my favorite out of the three samples they have. They have about 17 flavors, but that was my favorite out of all of them. But overall guys, this day has been fantastic. But I hope you enjoy this day, hanging out with me at Disney Springs, trying all the new stuff, seeing all the new things and updates around here. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next adventure. Bye.